The Binding of Isaac fans are set for the foreseeable future, because not only did the giant fan-made expansion Fiend Folio recently drop, but it already got updated with a brand new boss. And of course, the Tarnished mod is still steadily making awesome strides as well. There's a brand new character select screen on the way, and there was even a bug fix release recently too. If you're a giant Isaac fan, I feel it's important to let you know, this is Weekly Meet, a segment where I talk about Isaac and Edmund news all the time. Without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look. The character select screen for the Tarnished mod has gotten an overhaul with all of the door and character sprites being changed for the better. I don't think it looked bad before, but as an artist I can understand wanting to make a change to something you're not satisfied with. It looks great, and it just goes to show how dedicated the team is to having as polished a product as possible. In addition, they've also revealed the Essence item for Keeper. Essence of Keeper transforms up to three pickups in the room into their golden variants and makes all of the enemies in the room get Midas froze. That sounds awesome and it'll definitely be an item you want to hold on to until you see the perfect pickup you want to make stronger. While we're on the subject of the Tarnished mod, Tarnished Kane has gotten some adjustments. His UI now shows the next type of bag he'll throw in his queue. This is a welcome change because before it only let you know how many bags you had, whereas now you'll be able to plan in advance for what you want to throw, not unlike Tainted Blue Baby. Tarnished Kane is my personal favorite Tarnished character that's been revealed so far, so any quality of life changes for him are very welcome in my book. But obviously there's another giant mod that recently released that I need to touch on also. Fiend Folio has already gotten an update since its giant repentance launch. On top of various bug fixes, we also have the inclusion of an entirely new boss, the Whisperers. They move across the screen back and forth while maintaining a circular pattern. I can definitely see this boss being difficult when the terrain is on the sparse side, but from what I'm seeing here it looks like it's one of the less complex Isaac bosses out there, so could be a good reprieve if you're down on your luck and you need a break. I will be doing a review of the Fiend Folio mod, so be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Regarding the Don't Starve side of things, the Switch version got a giant update that pushes the game all the way to the WX78 refresh, so not exactly on par with the PC release, but certainly much better than it was before. This of course means that the crossover Terraria content has also finally made its way to the Switch version, so that's great. PC will probably always be the definitive way to play the game, not only because of it usually being the most current version, but because of mods. Still, it's nice to be able to play it portably, but even that's not really an advantage the which has because, you know, Steam Deck and all. I personally prefer playing Isaac on PC because there's a mod that transforms the final boss into this demon with an absolutely massive set. 